anger, despair, and hope. The pieces in the exhibition Postcards from Syria portray contrasting perspectives of a country devastated by civil war. Syria is almost monopolizing the news, uh, mostly with gory images and um, waves of concern that are rippling in front of our eyes around the world. Uh, however, Syria is also the longest standing polity in history. Um, with my apologies to our Chinese friends. Um, and has been an organized society for over 7,000 years. Uh, there is a lot more to Syria than what we see on TV. And that is being carried by Syrian artists who continue to work under the difficult circumstances. Some 5 million Syrians have fled their country since 2011, but the artists featured here have all chosen to remain. Self-taught photographer Issa Tuma, who was responsible for bringing this collection here for the very first time, was himself caught up on the front lines of fighting. In August 2012, he spent nine days holed up in his own home, which he documented in a film titled Nine Days from My Window in Aleppo. I know it's danger. I know you can be uh, killed because, like, two years ago, like sniper shot on me twice. You know, so. But uh, uh, what I think it's uh, how many times in your life you can see dramatic change, and you can be part from that as intellectual. You know, it's uh, it's unique experience. I know it's hard. It's difficult. Maybe you can be killed. Maybe something can happen to you. But uh, whatever, one day we will die. So. Uh, but I think it's if we if we stay alive, you know, now we can you can give much direct message, much a strong message about the war and what's happening. Bringing these pieces here to Singapore in itself was a miracle. They were transported in batches, avoiding roads that had been destroyed by bombing via Bay routes before being flown over. It was a process that took months. You have to wait for, for example, lulls in fighting, and then. Um, you may uh, uh, travel by car or you may pass over the goods to somebody else who's traveling by car. Then you may have to wait along the way to cross the border because you are uh, in Syria today, you're probably passing by several zones before you get to the frontier. Then once you're at the frontier, obviously you're safe. And the run into Lebanon and the air flight to Singapore is very straightforward. But it's, it's doable, you just have to have the, the, the will and you have to have the, the motivation. Among the works on display here are a series titled Texture of the City We Lost. The images were created as part of a project called Art Camping aimed at young people in Syria. They carry a poignant message about the future of a country rich in culture. Tuma's own collection of photographs, Women We Have Not Lost Yet, paints a picture of resilience among ordinary citizens of Syria living in harsh reality. It's a story of the 15 women telling what they think about the, and what they scare from, from, yeah, from the future of the city. And you can see most of them scare a lot from the, with the all ethnic, with the all kind of the people who live in one city together. We all work. Uh, worry from the uh, fanatics who's coming from outside. But Postcards from Syria sends a message transcending anguish and adversity that the country is alive, will experience peace and joy again and will thrive.